Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter. And I want to make an informational video today, and I'll try and keep it as short as possible. And I want to make it about melanite. Uh, if you are looking at a firearm and you notice that maybe some of the uh, parts are melanite treated, uh, maybe a barrel, the slide, trigger assembly, whatever it might be, uh, and you're not sure what melanite is, I want to give you basically just a quick reference um, as to what melanite is and, and how it compares to some other things uh, in the melanite process, okay? Because there's three different types of melanite processing. Um, I will also put some links to some really, uh, really great information below this video. Uh, one will be to a blog, another one will be to an actual video of the melanite process, and another link below that will be to uh, Burlington Engineering Inc. Um, they are they basically they do the melanite processing um, at uh, Burlington and I'll put a link to their factual page as well so you can you can read it yourself now the different types of melanite processing and uh, sorry guys uh, I, you know I don't have a script here I'm just kinda going freehand so do bear with me um, to put it plain and simple the melanite process is a process where they take untreated steel and they go over a few different things first they they treat it by dipping it into uh, what's called a salt bath. Uh, it's not actually a salt bath, it's more like molten salt. And the first bath that it's uh, treated in is uh, infused with um, nitride. Uh, the second one is going to be infused with carbon. And then you kind of end up with a final product that is an extremely smooth, hardened, infused steel. So melanite is not a coating. Melanite is an actual chemical change within the steel that's dipped itself into the salt bath. Now, I'll read off of their website here, Burlington Engineering, to put it you know, in their terms, basically. Melanite is a thermochemical treatment for improving surface properties of metal parts. Uh, so, uh, by the way, also, melanite has been around for a really long time. It's used in a ton of different things, as you can see in the pictures. It's used for gun parts, car parts, drill parts. Uh, if it's metal and it needs to withstand a lot of corrosion and a lot of heat and a lot of abuse, uh, there's a good chance that somebody's making it melanite treated as well. Now, first melanite process, melanite Q, uh, what that does is it improves the wear resistance of the metal, improves the running properties, uh, it improves its, uh, it basically strengths it, strengthens the steel against uh, fatigue. It becomes more heat resistant once it's melanite treated. So as you can see in, in gun parts and things like that, that's uh, that's very important. Um, and all melanite's going to be black. Okay. Then there's melanite QP, uh, which offers a lower coefficient of friction and uh, decreases the surface roughness. So uh, let's say you have something like a barrel or a uh, bolt carrier group uh, it becomes more smoother so you know having that uh, surface roughness taken away is is, is uh, something that's really important for accuracy uh, then there's melanite QPQ uh, low light reflection so it's not going to be you know you're not going to have the glare uh, and it has a further decreased coefficient of friction when you have the QPQ process um, also you have the enhanced corrosion resistance now, talking about melanite in the basic form, when something is melanite treated, and it's treated in the, the multiple salt baths, uh, so to speak, when it's treated in those salt baths, it changes the metal chemically. It becomes extremely resistant to corrosion. It becomes extremely smooth. It becomes extremely resistant to heat. Uh, it becomes uh, several times tougher uh, than the actual steel that it was before. Now, most melanite parts are completely dipped and immersed uh, into the salt baths. And you'll see if you look at the video below, uh, once you click on that, you'll actually see the process. Uh, it's, it's really interesting. It looks like they're being dipped in molten lava. And when they come up, they are chemically different. So just remember that. It's not a coating. It's an actual chemical change to the metal itself. Now, the cool thing about melanite is, is that it has much better corrosion resistance than chrome. Uh, it has a much smoother bore. You'll have a much smoother bore uh, than you will with chrome or chrome vanadium. And I know there's people out there that are going to argue, and, and that's perfectly fine. I, I do enjoy the debate. But the, the statistics are out there that 
uh, melanite treated surfaces uh, and, and there are surfaces out there that are melanite treated more than once okay well maybe I should I should back up a little bit here because I'm getting off step a little bit the reason for making this video was for those people that are looking at firearms out there that have been treated with the melanite process and uh, they're you know curious whether or not uh, that's something that they should purchase whether or not it's going to be quality uh, and something that's going to last so to all of those questions yes 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 and yes uh, excellent quality it's going to last you a lifetime it's going to last you your kids lifetime this stuff is extremely corrosion resistant uh, extremely heat resistant I mean this stuff maintains its hardness up to 930 degrees okay Fahrenheit um, so it's it's really good for components that are exposed to high heat and things that need that uh, you know low surface friction uh, so it's an extremely smooth smooth surface the melanite process itself being that it changes the metal um, you know that you're going to get a product that is uniform so each piece that goes through the melanite process is going to be the same as the last there's no you know thickness and coating changes or anything like that as you might get on some other uh, you know surface coatings uh, because this actually is treated over time and melanite process and the salt process has the same function it's always going to penetrate about the same depth uh, down to the very minor micron so you're looking at um, uh, something that's going to be the same on every uh, part that you get okay so melanite seems to be from everything that I've seen and read, uh, just something that's that I would absolutely buy. Okay, if if I saw something where they're offering maybe a chrome vanadium barrel or a melanite barrel, I myself am going to buy the melanite barrel. I've become a huge fan and uh, some really great great stuff. So just remember the melanite extreme corrosion resistance, the scuffing resistance, its strength against heat and wear. Uh, you know, it's just it's it's some really great stuff uh, you know I don't mean to sound like a cheerleader for it but uh, once you do the research and if you read everything for yourself that I've posted on the links I think you'll be a cheerleader for it as well but check it out guys um, watch the video and uh, read the links thanks for watching uh, please like subscribe you guys have a great day